My G. So how did it go? Man, bro. <laughs> This one you're just so excited. What's happening now? I get G's for you, my man. <laughs> no, first of all, I wasn't expecting you to return this evening because I feel you're going to be sleeping there because you have moved in somewhere where there's AC. You're so I'm not even expecting you to come back to this house. Like yeah, yeah, do any, I don't no, but I don't care talk about now. Okay, you know my man. I'm going to clear me that. Uh, I'm a, what can't you have this one now? I'm going to die so I tell you. That babe don't fall. Which babe? Which babe? That short game, huh? My mother, I'm sorry. You know what believe me? You know what believe me? Make I give you G's, make I play. Play you just name storage or more. I just did the wash the car today with my simulator and short. Just they try to arrange the car. You can't just observe me from back home. You just say, Nay, Limanya, Nay, Limanya. I just observe him. Let's see, no more. She called me to make I come my room. Hey. Okay. Okay, okay. It's inside the one you. Oh no, you don't say my guy. You don't say hunger can. Hunger is very powerful, eh? You get influenced for brain. If you make you think upside down. Oh guys, leave them at a dish. I did sharp. I did give you. I did start to play you tape. What happened today? I said, talk. Okay. Mama, Mama, Papa, um, I spoke with Boyken on phone today. Eh? Hey, how is my son doing? Did he extend money? Ah, Mama, you are money. Calm down. Boyken is fine. He said he has secured another job as a driver. Huh? Which one is driver here? From company messenger to driver. Eh? When did you came and learn how to drive? Oh. Ah. Oh. Let him not go out there and kill somebody, all in the name of securing the next available job. Can you get the My only regret is sending that boy to the university. I would have used that money to build house for tenants and be collecting rent as landlord. Ikeburu, after all the money we spent on him, we invested on him to make sure that he went to school, he went to university. What are we getting? Eh? A driver and a messenger. Kefaga for the fake. Kefaga for Why are you two talking like this now? Eh? Papa, Mama. So the both of you want to tell me that you are regretting investing in your own son to replace that your own son that you gave birth to. Wait, oh. did your mother say we invested on uh, Ikena? Eh? When? Tell me. What do you mean by we? We invested. Eh? Did we not both train him? Did we not both invest our money? You and me. When? In all the semester, he cannot spend the university. Tell me, which of them did you pay the tuition fee? Me and me. Question. Even if I did not give him physical cash, though I know that I gave him money, but I gave him moral support. Yes. And it was my moral support that kept him going all through his university days till he graduated. Do moral you support. How much money did I give? Hmm. Moral support. Can you equate moral support with money? Eh? Can moral support pay tuition fee? Can moral support buy textbooks and handouts? Can moral support pay hostel accommodation? Moral support. Oh, Papa. Papa. Moral support. Mama used to give him a batch at those days. Oh. Yeah, I can remember very well. I remember. Tell him. Well, mention. Yeah. Just remind him all the things that I gave him those days. Papa. Yes, so yes, Papa. Mama used to fry granite. She used to fry gari, mm -hmm. and she gives boy kenna food stuffs. Azo mangala, isi o poroko, crayfish, azo mbasakwa. Eh eh, even ogiri, egusi. I gave him those things. That was even my problem. When last did the both of you kneel down to pray for boy kenna? When last? All you do every day is to mock him, mock him, mock him, mock him, just for nothing. Same. 
I am not mocking him and nobody is mocking him. I'm only saying the truth. Let me tell you. All I'm saying is that by now, he is supposed to be taking care of us. But he's trying. We are no longer children. We are aging. Eh? Tell me, university, 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 university. After spending all the money, nothing came out of it. Messenger and a driver, but we are Mama, me to talk. If not for some to your brother, we would be dead by now. Tell me how we would have survived. He's the one that is making sure that we eat. He's the one that is taking care of us. Eh? Then I say, more Mama, can you feel After all the money, nothing. Some to, some to that did not see the four walls of a university. What did he learn? Roadside mechanic. He is the one taking care of us. Those that went to the university are not gainfully employed. Look at Sunto. Mechanic. He has a workshop. Eh? And he has so many boys working under him. Mama. You, the root of which you always put Rikena in your prayers. Yes, he's the person of this family. Stop mocking him. He needs your prayer. First son without direction yeah. or first son. Eat your food. Do not eat our currency. Let's see. Let's let's catch up now. Go our room now. Now she say, from you. Hey, are you serious? Hey, see you. Okay. For the first time, they get called my name. She was so nice, it's going to act nice. I'm like, hey. I'm like, hey, I think they did this one. She don't want to have the boy now. Wait, 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 wait. When you started this gist, eh? I was finding it difficult to believe you. Okay. Yeah, but now you don't know Okay, you don't, okay. Now you don't know the system in Nigeria film. No, you don't know the system in Nigeria. You don't know play. Ah, wait. So, <laughs> since you don't be like this, what's going to be your plan now? What's your plan? Plan, I don't plan since. See, as they get the four now, now for me to strike. Yes, now. Which? Uh, you know, say when we grow up, eh? You do like action film where we're so. As you just use this word, strike. I just remember that movie, Strike Back. Eh? This is this a joke? But now for me to retaliate, Oga. Okay? You worry. About it, you want revenge? Hmm. Revenge rather than the plan, Titi. Titi, the come, King, the. See. Which kind of shares too much? Which kind of picking be this one now, God? Which kind of man be this boy? You know, they, for your dictionary, you know they overlook things. Overlook? You know they forget things. Or oh, forget? Why? You, you didn't forget things? I didn't forget, guy. You didn't forget things? See, maybe everything will happen. Oh, Come make a this guy calm down. Maybe everything will happen. You go more revenge. That matter what happened between two of them for past. Not past. See, let me tell you something here. No matter what happens, please, I want to beg you, in the name of God, in the name of anything you hold sacred to your heart, please let that girl be. Allow that girl to just be on her own. Focus on your own job. How would you want to be retaliated? You want to want revenge? Strike backer. I beg so, no, you. No, no, so, like so, so, as you did now, you don't forget how they get take the slap me at we. How they get take the stormy slap. They stop my parents. Okay, I know they let the get you. Uh, she know they be anything. No matter what happens, eh? And no matter the kind of insult that girl has given you in the past, I am still standing on what I said before that you should let that girl be and stay focused on your own job. I know let them be. In fact, eh? Now, now, we are they do waiting person to make her do. Someone said I should do something. Now, now, I do. Someone said you should do something. Mm -hmm. Who is the person? Because no, we don't discuss anything. You don't know the person. I don't know the person. You don't know the person. I don't know I the person. I met the person today on my way to work early this morning. Just today, today, yes. then you meet the person. And you don't know what the person tell you. The person advised me what I go do. Plan A don't even execute like this. Moving on to plan B. <sighs> now, now, I know say Juju. They work. Juju, what they do for village? Because now that Juju won't bring you out from the job, which they do like this now. Yeah. And they tell you the truth. Oh, you I met know. somebody today, mm -hmm. the person gave an advice, mm -hmm. and you have gone, you have, you've started already mm -hmm. without even informing or consulting me. You will they feed you. If I inform or consult you, don't be waiting, you go, they tell me be this now. Okay, okay I am this, I am still saying it. Whatever you have in mind, plan A, plan B, I am not part and parcel of that arrangement. Okay, stay focused on your job. In fact, are you sure she's aware that you came up this night? Soon to your brother, he's already erecting his building. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
And he told me that he will get married. Immediately finish building. Eh? Bro, is getting married soon. Yes. And he's building his own house. Ndi bonwa, mwa kande my father. Have you seen it? Some thought did not see the four walls of a university. Just ordinary mechanic. But he's hmm? doing well. But those of them that said they are graduates, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Messenger and they're driving. Hmm. If you ask them for money, they will not bring one naira. And I cost a coco. It is his time. We can ask time will come soon. Story for the gods. Uh, were you not here, the two of you, when I told him to go and learn handwork and forget this university nonsense? Mm -hmm. But he played deaf. He refused. Papa, it's okay. Let me tell you something. See, this race is not for the weak, neither is it for the strong. It's just that time and chance happen to them all. Just forget all this thing that's happening to Boikenna now. Let's just be futuristic. We don't know tomorrow. Yes, we don't know tomorrow. Mr. Preacher, <laughs> preach on. I'm just listening to you. What did you say? The race is not for the weak, but for the strong. Okay? Man, I get in now. Your brother is not strong enough. He is not. So you have to advise him. Forget about I'm a graduate, I'm a graduate. Only two are doing nothing. Come oh, well, on, I will not do anything. Pack this thing away. Um, Pack all the place. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired. Oh yeah, sleep there yeah. since you're tired. Sleep okay, there. Now. I don't like this thing. You, you, you are just treating boy like, like he's not your son. If I had known, hmm, I wouldn't have listened to that boy. He and Bernard are just frustrating. They are the, the two university graduates we have in this family. I wish I can make amends. I wish I can right all my wrongs. I wish Romeo can see through me. I wish he could see through the depths of my heart. I wish I could just look into his eyes and tell him how I feel about him. Oh, Romeo. So many wishes. All because of you. What's going on here? What is going on here? Does it mean this fool has he gone to get me lunch? Sarah, I was about to pick in the money before you stepped in. No. Why would you do that? Why hasn't he picked the money to go get me lunch? Where I'm from, you don't throw money to a man on the ground and expect him to pick it. Where you come from, huh? And where exactly do you come from? Oh, I know, from the slum. Where else would you come from? Tell me. This is the reason women like you find it hard to get married. How dare you! How dare you! You slap me. How do you open your gutters to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? Did he just look me up, down, hiss, and walk out on me? No, 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 you don't even have to beg on that thing. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. It's not necessary. <sighs> A mere complaints messenger. Do that to me. He dares not come back. He's fired. Make sure he doesn't step into this company, this office, anywhere around these premises. I will not take this. <coughs> Zara? Zara, aunt. What are you doing here all by yourself? Are you okay? Aunt, I was just thinking. Do you wish to share that your thoughts with me? I've come to realize that I've not been a good person. Oh, that? 
Yes, that. A lot of people think I'm wicked, just like my dad. I've told you severally. It wouldn't cost you anything to be nice to your fellow human being. But it's just to go the way of your father. I think the best thing you should do is to apologize to Romeo. Tell him how nasty you have been and how irrational you have been. You know, he has kept sticking with you, irrespective of how poorly you treat him. Aunt, the truth is, I can't apologize to him. Then how are you going to right your wrongs? Because at this point, I don't know what made you to realize how irrational you have been. This is not you. That is why I keep reminding you how your mother died. Aunt, yes. You have always, always emphasized on my mother's death. What? Is there more to her death? What are you not telling me? What is it about my mother's death? I would like to know, please. Just tell me. Once and for all. You want to know? Yes. Then come inside. Let's talk. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Your father has been lying to you. For years now, he has never told you the truth. That is why I have come to tell you the story behind your mother's death. So that you don't suffer the same fate like she did. Have you ever asked your father why he drives himself with all his wealth? I did. And what was his response? Well, he simply just waved it off. Nothing serious. Down to a domestic staff as minute as a gate man he does not have. Aunt, you know that. He likes the simple lifestyle. He does, he's not cut out for stuff like that. You know him already, so this, he doesn't want it. That is the more reason I have come to let the cat out of the bag. So that I will face his full wrath. If only I'll be saving your life. I don't understand. I thought your mother's death would have changed your father. But instead, he turned him into a very wicked and ruthless, hard Hearted man. Aunt, come on. Why would you use such harsh words to describe that? That is the perfect description of who your father is. Your mother. I'm sorry to say this. With full respect to the dead. Killed herself. What? I, I, hold on, aunt. I, 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 I thought Dad said she was in a ghastly motor accident. What do you mean? Are you trying to tell my mom committed suicide? No. Oh. Your mother went to the market and bought her death. Oh. Tasty. Hmm. Yum. My beautiful wife, what is it? Did anything happen while I was in the office? Leave me alone. Come on. Talk to me. What was it in your heart? Just leave me alone. What? What do you mean, what? You're acting like you don't know what the problem is. You have abruptly refused saying anything to me. So how can I know the problem? 
you know the stress I went through to get this food? I eat stress. Are you not telling me that preparing a meal for your husband is like a problem? Yes, it's a problem. Do you know the stress of driving myself? The stress of opening and closing the gates by myself? I hate stress for crying out loud. In my friend's house, I do not do all this. I have domestic stars who does everything for me. Well, you just have to get used to it now. Besides, you have one already. Hell no. I need a chef in this house, a permanent one. The one you're talking about comes once a week. I need a housekeeper. I need a gateman that will mount that gate. Well, I understand biking your father's house. He's not used to do all that. But you know, I just... I just came back from London. Where did you? So getting domestic stars ain't gonna be no problem. Hmm? Yes. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So can we eat this salad in the night, please? Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Did you just right? Mm -hmm. You know I always like to see you smile. I know. <laughs> Yes, that smile is not beautiful. I'm glad you like the food. Delicious. Hobby. My life. My pride. My world. My heartbeat. The most beautiful woman in the whole wild world. <laughs> my handsome. You know, my life was empty until you came and filled it up. And mine was meaningless until you gave meaning to it. <laughs> I love you, my world. I love you so much. I love you, my world, and only. My love, hmm? I have decided to go see an agency that will help us with our domestic star. Wow, I'm liking the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, all the departments you have mentioned, I will get you stars in all of them. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, when I wanted to marry you, they said I shouldn't. That you are the overpampered daughter of the senator. That you can cook and all that. I told him that I'm not marrying a cook. I want to marry a wife. If I want a cook, I can always go and get one. Hmm. Thank you for everything you do for me. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better husband. Baby, you can never be wrong in my eyes. You'll always be perfect. 
They said you can't cook, but how come you made such delicious meal? I I bought it. <laughs> you did? Yes, I did. I, I was left with no option. Hmm. Well, uh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> My love, mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love you too. After one month, your father could not do as he promised. It got your mother so infuriated. Your mother turned into a nagging wife. She automatically became a nagging and abusive wife. She nagged and nagged and abused her husband, your father. So we had no choice. As the family of the man, we had to intervene. When she refused to do anything in the house. Fabian did all he could to change his wife into a better wife material. But no. So, what was the family's decision? You know, she does not cook in the house. She buys food from eateries for her husband to eat. And at this point, she stopped buying that food. Her husband will come to the house without food to eat. Do you know your mother went to the extent of serving her own husband an empty plate on a dining to eat? What? That was how bad it was. So, after the family intervened, did she stop? What happened? Our visit, instead of making her change, aggravated the whole thing. She was angry your father involved a third party into their family feud. The whole situation between her and her husband got so bad. Until one night. Honey? Wow. Come, let's go downstairs and have our lunch. I had mine already. You can go and have yours. Oh, really? Yes. Um, but at least you can come and keep me company. No, I'll wait for you here. Are you sure? Yes. It's okay. All right. See you later. the name of the demon that has possessed you of late. Since you want to be listening to your family, they should come and be cooking for you. Mabel, you don't know how to cook. Fine. But at least learn how to cook. But no. Okay, tell me, what have you been doing all day at home? Question. Mabel, I am your husband. Except you have another one elsewhere. We need a chef in this house. 
you need to get a chef that will be cooking. I did not come to your house to become a chef. You used to go out to get food for me. So why didn't you do it today? Not anymore. So are you telling me that I'm not going to eat this afternoon? I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me, I need to go and watch this. Are you crazy? I'm talking to you and you're walking out of me? Is something wrong with you? Did you just lay your filthy hands on the senator's only daughter? And I would do it again. You just signed your death warrant. You are dead, Bethany. The love could be so cruel But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears It's true You were the one who stole my heart away But now I'm left here Empty and betrayed This love was supposed to be Forever it was supposed to be you and I together She was a very beautiful girl. But what is beauty without a woman having a proper home training? The beauty is inconsequential. You all blame Dad. But I think Dad had his reasons. Yes, he had his reasons for going into that family. Dad needed the connections of the senator, who is my grandfather. Mm. And I said, that time, he had it all. So, that could be a very powerful and motivating reason. <laughs> Far from it, your father wasn't poor either. At that point, he just came back from the UK, where he went to back his doctorate degree from Oxford University. Even though we tried to stop the marriage, but it all landed on deaf ears. What happened to dad was love at first sight. Mom was a really beautiful woman. She was really elegant. And no man could resist her, not even dad. I see. Going forward from that time, your father agreed for mother to have all the domestic staff. And she surrounded herself with all the domestic staff she could think of. Oh, what nonsense! You kept me waiting in my own house. What is all this? Ekaite! Ekaite! Madam! Ekaite! Madam, I need for a kitchen. Madam, I've been around the start to cook. You just want to start cooking? By this time? What is going on between you and Okmaka? Is this something happening in this house, in my absence? 
Madam, nothing they have no me and Baka will not do anything. Now, my brother, eh? Now, my brother will not do anything for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I was in my car while Joe was honking the car horn. It took Baka 20 minutes to come and open the gate. Sai, hear me. Madam, no fix. Eh? No fix. Me and Baka will not do anything. Obaka and my brother. They far away, far in far. We come more right now. Are you okay? Are you mad? I came home hungry, hoping to get food to eat, and you're just saying you're about to make food. Are you mad? Are you stupid? In my own house. Nonsense. What is it? Dust! John! John is sitting right inside the car. John! Any problem? Madam! Have you gone nuts? Madam! Did you just slap me? How dare you? How dare you question me? Have you gone bonkers? Were you not told my husband and I are attending my brother's wedding? Yes, I was told. What? You were told and you did not wash the car thoroughly. Man, I washed this car. You did not wash the car. I did. You did not shut up before I slap you. He washed the car. I saw him wash it. He needs to wash it again. I'm not going to go to wedding with a dirty car. But we are already out of time. You are late already. He needs to be washed the car. Don't you know she's the only daughter of Stephen Roberts? Come on, get on with it. Go and wash the car. Okay? You saw me wash this car thoroughly, didn't you? You washed the car. The car you washed thoroughly, polished? I actually watched it. I know it's okay. Don't worry. He's going to do exactly your way before he leaves this house. Would you rubbish? Can you imagine the dust resting on the car he said he washed? Don't worry. He's going to rewatch the car. We'll wait. I'm already waiting. Does he know the class and status of my father? And that stupid driver wants me to be seen in a dirty car. He washed the car, but he's going to rewatch it. For heaven's sakes, this wedding is going to be in attendance with so many dignitaries. I can't possibly be seen coming down from a dirty car. Yes, I even told the driver. Ada, she's daughter of Senator Nwodo, you'll be crazy. Doesn't worry her treating anyone like a piece of trash. John! John, I'm late already! Oh, please, I'm just doing some few minutes. My friend, will you kickstart this car and take me out of here this minute? I can't wait anymore. John, what is keeping me? Please, sir. Honey? Yes, what is that? Something has been bothering me. Okay, so what is it? I think Ekaite and Okmaka are having an affair. What makes you think like that? Honey, haven't you noticed the way they meander in this house? Their movement is very suspicious. Honey, I think your mind is playing tricks on you. Ukbaka and Ikaiti are related. How are they related? Are they siblings? I'm very sure they are bedmates. Honey, they are cousins. I still want to know what they do in my absence in this house. So how do you intend to go about it? I don't know, but I would, I would find my way around it. Okay. Well, 
in that in that case, um, I will do something about it. Okay. 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 You okay now? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> it's more wine. It's wine. <laughs> come, it's come, so come, 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 come. I mean, forget uh, about a guy here and one car. Good night, my love. Oh. Honey. Honey, you won't believe what I found out today. Did you catch them? No, I did not catch them. Okay. I was eavesdropping on their conversation and I got to know a kite has been overfeeding Obaka in my house. How? You haven't noticed, after overfeeding that food, he goes to the toilet every minute, complaining he's, he's purging, his stomach is this, his stomach is that. <laughs> you see? She has been overfeeding him with food and not sex like you think. Yes, you're right. I, I actually thought they were bed meat. <laughs> I should have known. No, no, no. You know, I told you it's not what you think. Those two are related. But how did you get to know this? Yeah, I heard them talking about their family and other stuff. Yeah, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> you know, as funny as it may sound, um, Obaka used to be a chorister in Ekaite's father's church back in Calabar before they mm. came to this place. No wonder. No wonder he will sing and sing and sing and never get tired. Ah! Ah, get it, Are you fool just going to stand here and mop at me all day? Start talking! Who took my $1,000? I left $10,000 in the drawer in my room and some fool took $1,000 from it thinking I will not know. Who took my money? Madam, I did not enter your room let alone of seen any money. If you did not, then who did? Ekaite. Ubaka. Ubaka, madam. Two idiots. You must have conspired and stolen the money from my room. Madam, truth to my God, let me carry your money. Ask Baka, you be as in I'm carrying. Hmm? You can't. You the man. Me thunder, eh? Me thunder we no gay brother, we no gay anybody at all, we no wear clothes. Fire that to your useless mouth. What did they worry you? Why you gonna cause your brother like that, Ekwano? You don't smoke. You don't wait. You don't drink, I can Now allow me to forget my hand for your face, you. Why could it cost you a one? I'm not going to understand why Madam Gondi accused us. They talk saying that we carry money now. Madam, no fix so. No, we carry the money. And my brother will stand here and if he carry your money. Mm. Eh? We never see dollars before for our eye. At all. Abi, you don't see dollars. I never see you. I mean, I never see dollars. If you say, Nayon, you don't carry your money. Yes, mm. If you say, you don't hide them for him, baby. Ekaite, have you gone mad? Ekaite, how dare you suspect me of stealing? You're truly a fool that you are. Eh, I don't say I be fool, though. Eh, but no, we may carry the money. No, we my brother will stand here carry the money, mm. too. My papa, na pastor. He own papa, na reference. So, we we know if we that kind of money. We know if we for our family. Ekaite. Reverend or pastor or Christian son, whatever, bogey ever. Bo go. Are you listening to me? So, because your brother sings Christian songs around in this company, that makes him a saint or what? Oh, oh that will come make me say that I'm called a thief here. Christian dom and pastoral bogey ever. He you are truly a foolish son. for my money! Mm, madam, I didn't see any dollars. I mean, why would I want to debase myself because of money? John, do you know how much we're talking about here? One thousand dollars is a huge sum of money. 
Madam, I don't have your money. Madam, Narayo, my spirit, they tell me, say, now you are not carrying the money. Mm. Eh? It, Madam, Sasha, Sasha, well, well. Check him, baby, he gave way in Dong Hai. I can't say, I will decimate you now. Are, are, you, are, are, are you sick upstairs? Ekaite. Madam. Where is my one thousand dollars? Madam. Madam, why you ask me this kind of question now? Madam, I never see one thousand dollars before. Eh? I don't know if me carry your money. And my brother here, yeah, no if you carry your money. My papa na pastor. Your own papa na reference. Eh? No if you carry your money. None of you want to tell me who stole my money. Madam. Stop now, catch up. On your knees. Oh, governor. Sorry. None of you want to tell me who is with my money. I will make you talk by force. I don't know what to do. 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 I don't have what to do. I don't know 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 Like you. Me, I don't care, man. Make me Get out! 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 Because after they left, another set of domestic staff came. It was the house help, the second house help, that discovered $1,000 inside a drawer while she was cleaning the house one day. Hmm. That means she was searching for the $1,000 in earnest. Yes, she was. And they left the way they came. It continued like that until the last Get man, your mother maltreated. Served him sour food. You can imagine any baroka. Until she laid a curse on your mother that she will be killed by her domestic staff. What? Yes. Oh, oh, hold on. A mere common gate man insulted my mother that much and she did not arrest him? Yes, he was detained for weeks. After that, a girl came. Who was that? Your mother's personal driver. Ah. He was dark and ugly. In fact, hideous. Your mother unleashed her vile on him. Called him all, all sort of printable names. Made jest of him. You know, it was a combo. Collabo. Your mother and your father maltreated him because he was poor and ugly. They refused to pay him his salary, to pay for his, for his wife's cesarean section because she was pregnant. And at that point, your mother was pregnant with you. Father, please, I need your help. What kind of help? Uh, my wife is in Lagos uh, since, and uh, the doctor said, uh, uh, she, uh, she will do one operation called Casseletto before she can deliver the set of twins. How do we come in the way? Uh, how you can come in is that I need the money. But you know, my wife has not been able to uh, 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 have a child since now that God has given me a set of twins. Uh, uh, I can't afford to lose them. I need some money. Is your wife the only pregnant woman? I can wear the ugly bats. Yeah. I am also pregnant. 
Uh, may God grant you to deliver safely. Amen. <sighs> of course, I am having my child abroad, not in Nigeria. Please, we don't have any money to give you. <laughs> you hear that? I didn't hear her. But you know what? Just get out of here, you ugly man. I want to rest my husband. Okay, okay. You hear my wife. You can see she's pregnant. Oh. She doesn't need this drama right now. Just leave. Leave <sighs> But then you will like the drama. Any of the may go. I mean, no, no, no. What's wrong with you now? Money is wrong with me. I need the money. You know, may go. Ah! You know, see, may go. Everybody on the bed. You know? Look at him, may go. Ah! What is wrong with you? What is your problem? Money is my problem. Give me the money. Okay, okay, leave my house with me. So, yeah. We don't have any money to give you. Leave this place, you ugly man. Okay. Fine woman, let me make up. We don't have money to give you. Give me the money, I need the money. Eh? Your wife is pregnant. And now that God has money to give me so, so, a, a set of tweets. You are the one to deny me. Do you want my wife to, lo to, to lose her life because, because of money? Is it my fault to give you money? Is it my fault? So? Okay, come on. Let's... I will collect it. Get me here. Imagine. Imagine what? Let me make up. I will die here. I will die here. Let me Leave my house this minute for two years. Go here. You don't have the money. Eat the money. Eat the ego. You don't have the money. But you don't care. Fabian and Mabel have killed my wife and my twins. I will not take this lying low. I must avenge the death of my wife and my twin. Hmm. Who do I tell my story? Who will listen to my tale of woes? Who will believe that I have just lost Ngozika and my twins to death due to poverty? Fabian and Mabel, if you escape this, know that my name is not a gateway. Honey? Mm -hmm. Give me the bite. Mm. Mm. This thing is sweet. It's sugary. No, it's sweet. It's because of your leaves. Oh, your ex mouth. exactly. It's yeah. <laughs> Please give it a bite again. Mm. Mm. This is something else, you know. <laughs> oh, let me. Sometimes I wonder where you got that ugly bat from. <laughs> you are very funny, you know. <laughs> but he's so ugly. Eke Kwe or what his name is. Oh God. I wonder why somebody would give back to such a man and then name him such a name. <sighs> ah, but um, it is an evil name. I know. Ah, what happens to sweet names like Tyros, Juliet, Amanda, Zara. God knows I will never give my baby such a name. Thank you. Hmm. Honey, this one you're busy calling the names of girls. It's like you know what you're carrying your own. Yes. 
I am carrying my princess. My mini me. But I want a boy and not a girl first. I want a baby girl. Okay, 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 fine. Whether baby girl or a baby boy, it's all fine. They're all blessings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, a boy, a girl, they are all blessings. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Honey, are you expecting anyone? Not actually. Who is that? C come in! This ugly bat again. What do you want this time? You both have succeeded in killing my wife and the twins. No problem. I will not say anything to both of you. But God will judge you. He died? No, they live. They live. But we did not kill them, did we? God will judge both of you. God will judge you. God will judge both of you. Come on, boy. My life is completely messed up. I am back to square one. No wife, no children. I lost Ngozika and my two boys because of poverty. I watched Ngozika as she battled with a life and I did nothing to save her even when she was crying out to me begging me not to let her die. I couldn't save the life of a woman. My aged parents struggled to marry for me. Hmm. I washed my own Ngozika. Breath at last. But my question is, why are some people wicked and heartless? How do Fabian and Mabel sleep at night? Oh, ugly bat. So this is where you came to hide and saw. Ekekwe or whatever your name is. You are not the first to have lost a wife and children the same day. So why are you behaving as if this is the end of the world? Madam. Don't mock me because of my predicament. What happened to me, to my wife, can happen to anyone. I reject it. I will not die a miserable death. Tell me why you are calling me. If you don't have anything reasonable to say, please allow me to mourn my loss. I will not allow you. You are a failure. You killed your wife. A Kulusha disgrace. Your likes should not be called men. A man that cannot provide for his family is worse than an infidel. I can see you came to insult me. <clears throat> Walk out on me and I will make you regret your useless and miserable life. In fact, on a second thought, I, I am pregnant and I don't want you around. I, you disgust me. I don't want to be seeing you around. Get out! Rubbish. 
nonsense. Monkey. You are going back to wherever you come from. You are leaving my house. I don't even know where my husband got you from. Imbecile. Shot in gym. Idiot. Goat. Simple instruction. You had to cl climb to wash car. Monkey. Very ugly bat. What is wrong with this one? And why are you speeding? Ugly bat, why are you speeding? Why are you running to? You don't want to die. My family, slow down. But you allowed my wife. I, I said slow down, what is wrong with you? My children die because of your wickedness. Ah. But of course we die What is wrong with you? I must avenge the dead. Please slow down. For the pain <laughs> you <laughs> and <laughs> Fabian <laughs> cost me. Stop, stop, no! <laughs> what? You mean, Ikeku killed my mom? Oh, hold on, hold on, okay. There's something I don't understand. Because I adopted. Because I was just a seed in a womb and she didn't, she didn't, she, she died, she didn't make it. So how, how am I here? I don't get it. Your mother did not die on the spot. But take a quick deed. The mother had a little life left in her. So she was rushed to the hospital. On getting to the hospital, the doctors realized that she doesn't have much life in her. So they opted to do a C-section on her. With the help of your father, the C-section was carried out. And you were brought out from your mother's womb. Alive, but very weak. But your mother passed out. Immediately you were brought out. Mm. Let Mabel's baby, and that is you, was just a seven month old baby. It was a premature. So the baby was put in an incubator. So after two months, we were brought out from the incubator. Fabian begged me to help take care of you. Your mother's death broke your father. He died ten times over. He broke the family. In fact, he shattered the family. How did I survive the incubator? God. God. Yes, God showed you mercy. My love, your survival. And I believe God kept you for a purpose. Listen, I watched you go into the worst woman you are today. I didn't want the fate that befell your mother to befall you. I don't want history to repeat itself. Even though I never met my mom. I miss her. You know. I I wish she was here. I, I, I wish. I wish I could just see her. Just look at yourself in the mirror. See your mother. Won't. Thank you. Thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you for everything you're doing for me right now. Thank you for standing by me, for sticking with me, even when I act irrationally. I always want you to be around here. That's why I want you to be nice to people. Show them love. It's not going to be removed your self pride, self worth. I love you. I don't have a daughter. You are my daughter. Thank you. <laughs> Right. 
explain why you said that. Um, I did. Please come, sit. Mom, I'm okay here. Romeo, please sit. I... I did send for you because I... I... I, I, I know I... I realized that, Romeo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. I know I've said too many nasty things to you, but now I've realized all my wrongdoings. I know I'm the most nastiest and foolish person on planet Earth from the bottom of my heart and I'm, I'm sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Come on, Romeo. Please. I've, I've, I've come to realize all my wrongdoings and I understand that you might not believe me and I know where that is coming from but sincerely, I am truly sorry. Please. Just calm down. Um, Romeo, please forgive her. You know, she has made some terrible mistakes in the past. Let bygone be bygone. Please forgive her, please. She's repented. Um, it's 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 fine, ma. Who am I not to forgive my boss? Please, you're forgiven. Oh. Well, okay, can, my, my name is, my name is Chizara, call me Zara. Oh, there's no way I can call my boss by her name. Look, my, I don't want to lose my job. This is my only means of livelihood. Please. Romeo, I promise you will not lose your job. But please call me Zara. Romeo, Chizara is like a younger sister to you. You are way older than her. Please, since she has realized her mistakes and wants to make a mind, oblige her. If she says she wants you to call her Zara, go ahead. Her name is Chizara. So call her the Zara, she said. It's, it's okay, Ma. It's okay. It's okay. Who am I not to forgive my boss? Please, but just please, stand up, please. Zara. Please, stand up. Zara, it's fine. Do you forgive me? Yes, yes, I forgive you, Zara. Please, stand up. Please sit. Zara Moya, sit. Thank you. Sit. I'm happy you realized your mistakes. I made amends. seem to get a hold of myself. The sight of this guy melts me like wax.
what is wrong with me? Romeo has finished me. <laughs> this guy is something else. <laughs> I can't believe I'm blushing. Like, I'm blushing. I'm definitely crushing on this guy. Oh. But the only problem is, how do I muster the courage to tell him how I feel about him? He would definitely not believe me. No. Not after everything I've done to him. But who would blame him? Truly hot. You can't help it. Uh. Take a look at him. Take a look at him. Oh my god. Did he just do? Oh. <coughs> <Oof. clears throat> Romeo. Okay. It's on. I'm definitely coming for you. Take a look at his abs. Ooh, he's so strong. What a star. <sighs> I could just Who's that? bask in his presence forever. You? Yes, me. What are you doing here? I came for you. You came for me? Please, you can't be here. Leave. I don't understand. See, like, I don't even have privacy in this house. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Come on. I Romeo. Wait, hold on. Is this why you apologized to me so you could come have me? No, 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 not at all. I, the, the truth is, I, I mean, I know you will not believe what I'm about to tell you. I love you. I, I think I've fallen in love with you, and I don't, I don't understand. You love me. Yes. <laughs> the boss's daughter says she loves me. I don't. Are you okay? Are you a drama? You're such a drama queen. Please, can you just leave? Please, is, you know what? Is this why? You, is this why you decided to come close to me? No. Please, please, just, just leave. I'm, okay. I'm sorry, I invaded your privacy like this. It's just that this feeling is so strong. I can't control myself anymore. Please, I, I truly love you. I don't know what's running through your mind right now, but. I'm no longer the Zara you used to know. I've changed. I've, I've changed my perspective towards life. And you made me be this person. Please don't send me away. You should have just told me I would have come to the kitchen to pick it up. No, I wanted to save it myself. <laughs> it, 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 it. Okay, okay. So, what is this? Oh, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You made this yourself? I did. Nice. Thank you. Okay. 
and feed you. Okay. Open, open, open. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, this is nice. Really? Yeah, but it's more nice because of the hand that cooks it. Ah, please. <laughs> it is same. No, no, seriously, seriously. Not I never knew it is good. <sighs> Bust my head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really nice. Sorry. Aren't you gonna have yours? I will, but you want water? Mm, I'm good. Are you sure? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Mm. Yep. Join me then. Let's <sighs> eat. Why is not watching you eat? Oh, you just went. Come on, see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'll join you, but I want you to be full. So eat, 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 eat. Hmm. I want to be full. Mm. <laughs> so, this is really nice though. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh. You know, some ladies need to come to you for you know some culinary classes. Please, please, you're exaggerating at this I'm point. Not, I'm not, it's really good. Ah. <laughs> So tell me, why did you give me your virginity? I mean, I never knew you were a virgin. Couple of the fans, that you came from a rich background, your level of exposure and all that. If I was to be asked, I would never even think of it. What? Come on. <laughs> Well, you don't need to worry your head about that, Judy. I was raised by my aunt, and trust me, she was really strict. Auntie Rose? Mm-hmm. Auntie Rose is your aunt? Yeah. And here yeah, I was thinking she's your mother. Well, she's not my mom. Though, she took me in and she did more than what my mom maybe would have done for me. Wait. Your mom is late. <sighs> yeah, my... My mom was involved in an auto crash while she was pregnant with me. They had to operate on her and get me out while she was just seven months. What? And after that, she passed. My God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know either until my aunt told me a couple of days ago the circumstances surrounding my birth. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your mom. It's okay. These things happen. 
I know. But there's something else that bothers me. Okay, what is it? I'm scared. You're scared of what? I'm scared of losing you. And I might just take my own life if you ever believe me. Why would you want to take your life? Because I don't want to lose you. Are you promising me your commitment? You just coughed. The truth is, I love you. I've never felt this way before. I'm in love with you. I love you, Romeo. You love me? Mm -hmm. Or you're just using me to cure your urge? When the perfect guy comes now, you're just gonna knock me off. What? Yes. Is that you? Tell me, why don't you believe me? Look, the whole thing is strange. I was this guy you once hated his gods, who stood, <laughs> stood up to your, you know, your troubles. You always slapped around, and all of a sudden you. What the hell is in love with me? Okay. Can we just let bygones be bygones? Don't bring up the past. I'm trying not to, but... Look, I don't know. The whole thing still feels strange. You know? Even to the point you gave me something as sacred as your virginity. Tell me. I want to know why, because... I don't want to go to prison because of you. I know exactly sending you to prison. Your dad. My dad. Yes. He's far away. Well, he's definitely going to come back. Okay. That's not a problem. Because he's my dad. I'm his, I'm his only child. Come on. Mm. Zara, stop. Mm. Oh, stop. Who's that? Why are you asking me to stop? Come on. Zara, stop. Stop what? Zara, see, your sudden closeness to me is giving me panic. Meaning what exactly? I just don't want to get into Dr. Fabian's <laughs> bad book. Zara, look, Zara, look, I'm your driver. I'm the one who made you a driver. But this is against my work ethics. What is this? What's this? What's this drama about profession? What work ethics? Blacklist? What's that? What's all that? I just don't want to get into trouble. Fine. Hey, come on now. Come on, it hasn't got into that. It's obvious Romeo feels nothing for me. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't love me. It's obvious I'm the one at the center of everything. Forcing him to love me. Pushing him to love me. Forcing myself on him. The sweet sex, though. <sighs> that I do not regret. <laughs> oh, I do not regret what we had in the bathroom. 
<laughs> in his bedroom. Even though it was my first, it was definitely worth it. Oh, Romeo. I wish you could just love me. <laughs> Why can't you just love me? My guy, it's actually fresh. You got soft. What's it happen now with this guy? I'm going to say you fight. I'm not going to say you fight like this. I'm going to let the wine in your mouth. Which guy, which guy? I'm going to let the guy. joke, guy. I know they are not fresh before. No, you don't get a dream job. Oh, <laughs> bless you, decrease. So driving on a dream job. I'm pro but my dream job now, <laughs> and the salary is times two. You're being double paid. See, I make a tell you something. I just me. I see why that guy told me to come and stay in the house. Eh? Uh -huh. She's looking for the sex too. No, I don't understand. understand you. I'm come not saying you don't understand. Come again. Look, she's using me. I am using her. They're all having fun. Oh, oh, you just cut out my head now. Make me understand <laughs> something now. What's going on? I don't oh, understand God, you. Calm down. I know. Explain to me now. I want to know. Look, I enjoy myself now. Yes. Get what they use me. What are they using? This is why I go to the bank. Uh -huh. Okay, don't code now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you? <laughs> I don't wipe the girl now. Let me even tell you, I even disvergined her. Really? Huh. See, one day I was having my shower. Girl sneaked into my room. I <laughs> sneaked into my restroom and held my bull out, bro. <laughs> she practically begged me to have her. And we did it. Romeo. I am I am I am dumbfounded. Like I am short of wet at this point. <laughs> you mean you have slept with the chief's girl? Oh, the girl has been begging for the thing. I had to give it to her. Hot hot. Hot hot. In fact, after dinner, we did it again. How <laughs> more you to surprise me, oh? Ah. I saw now. Oh. Oh. They give the gas the auto. Oh. Let me ask you. Are you trying to tell me that she has not been having sex? Huh. Bro, even me say if I was surprised. To tell you the truth, I was really surprised. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She has not even had sex. I don't even know. She doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> she, doesn't have, she has not had sex ever. She has never had sex before. Yes. You mean to tell me that that elegant beauty with that big curvy waist has yeah. never had sex before? I was shocked, my boom marrow, bro. It is what it is. Hey. My guy don't go honeymoon. <laughs> my guy don't carry driver job at the honeymoon. I didn't tell you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, mom. My guy. Anybody who don't admit you know nothing they do. Don't see him now. She feel the guy now. She feel all the, you know, all the softness. But meanwhile, uh, uh, let me beg you for something, eh? Uh, uh, no matter what happens, please, I beg you especially, don't break that girl's heart, please. Uh, I think that girl loves you with everything in her. Just don't break her heart, please. Bernard, I, I know they understand you now, Adizu. No, what's I'd, this? I'd advise you now. Bernard, stop, stop. Don't see him. Pia was you. What? Eh? See those things that girl did to me, eh? I will do it to her over a hundred times. But Romeo, that girl has apologized to I beg, you. I beg, I beg, drop this topic now. Can't you forgive drop the girl? It's, you've been over those things. Please. Please don't break the girl's heart, please. Eh, hey, don't do it. You won't push me to come out. No, I beg, no. You bring plenty to come, not come out, I beg. I'll see her come. This girl, eh? Hey, Barry! What's up, come and call her brother for me? You need to talk with you. Ah. Hey, Barry! Call her brother for you. What do you want to call that boy for now? Do you have a message for him? Why are you calling him? Must you know everything? Eh? Won't you just concentrate on this thing you are reading, whether you are seeing it or not? I better tell you, you're asking stupid questions. Oh, oh, oh. If I don't have anything to tell him, will I? Oh, oh. Ask to speak to him. Yes, Mama. 
Okay, we do a phone so that you call your brother for me. <laughs> Mama, you would have asked if I have credit. Yeah. Oh. Is there any time you have credit? Every time that I will ask you to make a call for me, you will say you don't have credit. What do you do with the money with they do send to you? Cham, cham, cham. Go and bring your phone. Bring your phone and call him. Both of you are the same. You don't have credit. He doesn't used to have credit. Eh? Can you feel the fact? Call him. Call him. I'm credit. calling him. You cannot be that mean. What are you saying? Guys, look. I do love the girl. I cannot love that girl, man. What's your problem? Why are you so uptight? Why? Why am I so uptight? Yes, you are. Now you they talk this thing. Yes, now. My take, take the phone, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, wait. He hasn't picked yet. Wait for him to pick. Why is he wasting time now? Pick the call. I know you were well now. You've always been like this from day one. I beg, free major. Maybe I should call you now. Answer her. Tell her you love her. No. Ah. Say, baby. My sister come here. Ah. Yeah. Okay, come here. Okay. Mm. Hello? Uh, uh -huh. It's me. It's your mother, not a baby. Mama, good afternoon. He came now. Just tell me one thing. One single thing that is good this afternoon. Tell me. Mama, this one you're sounding like this. What is the problem? Everything is the problem. Money! Money is the problem. There is no money in this house. You have to send us money for our upkeep. You have to send money so we can go to the market and buy this. We don't have anything, no food, oh. nothing in this house. You can na emelegiyeme. Send money to us. Biko. Mama. Money. Has some to stop sending people money? There he goes again. Some to this, some to that. Some to everything, some to. Will some to die for you? You can na na ma joke. Some to oga wole ga wole. Don't you know that you are the first son? That you're supposed to take care of us, take care of everything in this house, including that sumto. Eh? Send us money, yo. Mama, Mama, when have you ever called me to even find out how I'm faring? All you do is to call for money. Eh? I keep comparing sumto and I. What's the meaning of this, Mama? Why would I call you? Don't you know that sumto, your younger brother, he is your younger brother, he is building, and at the completion of his uh, mansion, he will marry. So allow him to rest, Biko Moke. You are the first son for the first time. All to your duties. Do your responsibilities. Eh? Do it for once. Let us bless you. Biko. You can see my problem with, me, uh, with Mama. You can see the problem I have with Mama. What do they want? Eh? What do they want? Mama has never called me to find out if I'm okay or something. Let's say Mama is calling me money, money, money. They send money now. Mama, knows, Mama is feeling the vibe that you have entered where everything is working well. Send her money. You cannot be crashing the elegant, beautiful lady and she's not giving you money. What can send money to Mama? Oh. Don't be saying a different thing. Because me, too, I need money. Can you find me something? I'm like, I'm very, very broke. Oh, he has called before. Mama, stop oh. calling. Stop me. Stop Why won't he call? Ah, it's not fair. It's not happening really for that. Well, you can, uh, 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 Come on, shut, shut up! Shut, shut up, shut up, Mechipuano. Uh. Who asked for your opinion here? Oh. Every time you will leave uh, 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 some talk with everybody. Mm. Okay, who's mm. something? Mm. Let mm. him send money, Biko. Ah. What's this? What am I seeing? Ah. Ah. This girl will kill me of BP in ah. this house. What is your problem? We didn't just said 100,000 naira. He said 100,000! Are you sure?
Yes, she's in her room, but she's not feeling very well. Fabian, when are you going to be through with what you could to, to Colombia? Just that we're missing you already. Then come back now. <laughs> Good evening, Demi. Let me call you back. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine, Ma. Uh, Ma, I've not seen my boss for the past two days. Please, what's wrong with her? I don't know. She, she, she has remained in her room. She doesn't want to come down from her room. She has refused to eat nor drink. I don't know what is happening to Zara. Ma, you mean she has not eaten for two days? Yes, yeah, she has refused to eat for the past two days. I've tried everything possible to make her eat. But she has refused to eat. And I don't know what is wrong with her. Okay, Ma. Please, can I go up and check, check her? Why not? I, I, let me see if I could ask her. Maybe she could tell me. Please do, because I'm tired. Okay, Ma, I'll be right back. Now, please, now, Zara, see, I'm here. What is going on here? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Just give me an asshole like this. You saw her house? Yes, I don't, I don't know what she drank, Sarah. You don't know what he said? Sarah, please, now, wake up, wake up, please. What, Sarah. Are, you, what are you talking about? I don't know what she drank, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah please, now, please. Huh? Sorry. You're sorry about what exactly? Sarah, Sarah, I know I got you. I was I was embittered. Oh really? Yes. For two whole days, I've been eating. I haven't taken any water. I haven't done anything. Just because the father of my unborn child doesn't want anything to do with me. Sarah, you're kind my child. You know what? You deserve to be happy. So let me just stay for my life. Sarah, 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 no, no. Please. Sarah, I love you. What? You love who exactly? No, you don't love me. I do. You and I know you do not love me. Why are you lying? Man, bro, look. She can't get me to fall in love with her. Why? I can't even fall in love with such a girl. 
If you like, let her give me herself, bro, Olo. I'll just keep having my phone and enjoy myself. Bro, I can't forgive that chick. Why is it like you don't know what she did to me? This girl has made me feel terrible, man. I know these rich folks, they need someone to teach them a lesson, bro. <sighs> Look, there's nothing else you need to tell me. I just keep enjoying myself, man, doing my thing. I just love to kill in Swahili. She's thinking, man, the niggas fall in love with her. Bro, bullshit. Bullshit. Wait, I don't understand. You know right now that I don't care. She can take her life for all I care, a miserable life for all I care. It sounded like you don't know what that girl made me pass through. Bro, that, made, that girl made me feel like I was nothing, I was worthless. Baba, look, you don't do. I've, I've heard you. I've heard you, okay? I know what I'm doing, I'm doing my shit. Please, I beg, I beg, I don't die for all this talk. I don't care about the girl, I don't care about how she feels, I don't care about what she's thinking. I don't care about emotions right now, I just want to have my phone. Since she wants someone to sleep with, let's just keep having fun, you know? But talking about falling in love with her, bro, I ain't doing that shit, okay? Guy, man, Alpha, I beg, make me know you talk about this thing, man. We'll talk to you later, make her sleep, no, don't reach. Alpha, Alpha, wait, 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 wait. Who say don't chop? Ah! I don't know, I don't know, I never thought that love could be so cruel But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears It's true You were the one who stole my heart away But now I'm left here Empty and betrayed This love was supposed to be forever it was supposed to be you and I Look at me Loving a guy who is on a revenge mission He just wants to retaliate <gasps> Oh God Was what I did to Romeo so unpardonable? Why can't he just let go? I gave him money I offered him my body I showed him so much love and not for one day did he turn down those offers. I just want to die. I just want to die. If it will make him happy, let me die, let me die. I saw the signs, but I ignored them all. Blinded by the beauty of follow, I took the fall. You said forever. I heard it. I heard everything you told your cousin. Every single word you said. And I quote, she could die for all I care. You know what? Your wish just came true. No. Yeah, I want you to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Sarah, so no. I'm just gonna kill myself. This mission? Sarah, 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 just, Sarah, just please, hear me out. Just hear me out now, please. I never, I never thought, I felt your apology was, I felt your apology was not true, you know, because of how I, I was hurt. Please, I'm sorry. I changed. I did change. I knew I hurt you, but I apologized for it. Oh, no, no. What was my crime exactly? Fall in love with you or Sarah, what? Sarah, please just hear me out. I'm sorry. Just look at me. I am sincerely sorry. I love you, Sarah. You don't love I me. I do. You don't love me. You just want me to stop. Sarah, please. I, I do. Okay. Okay. Just, just drop this. I do. I'm sorry. Mm, just say. This, my love, 
is the office of the manager of Zephyr Pop. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other manager, I sent him to Port Harcourt to manage our new branch. Okay. And you, my darling, who assumed the position of the manager from Ensford, you are to manage everything that has to do with this office <laughs> until <laughs> after our wedding, where you become the CEO and take over everything. Babe, mm. are you kidding? No, I'm not. Babe, no, babe, are you pulling my legs? Come on, you're the new manager. <laughs> are you serious? I am. Hello? Yes, secretary. <laughs> <Send him in. laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm here. <laughs> oh. Oh. So tell me, do you like it? Of course I do. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I love a man in suits. Thank you. Thank you for all you 